Takina Arnold asked a question on Twitter, and I want to give my insight, or better yet, my answer to her question. But first, I would like for you guys to subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel, or you can check out some of the mercs that I have listed on the bottom. A question she asked was, honest question, what can we as black women in America do to stop aiding in the emasculation of men in America? I'll repeat that again. She says, honest question, what can we as black women in America do to stop aiding in the emasculation of black men in America. Now, I'm glad that she put that word aiding in there because it's not the black woman's fault that black men are emasculated in America. A real black man there's no way that a real black man would allow a weaker vessel to emasculate him unless he emasculates himself or he allows himself to be emasculated. Now, my response to her was, she can stop trying to compete with men for his manhood and raise her sons to be young men instead of sensitive boys. Now, many young black males are being raised by single parent moms. And by her trying to build a man in her son, she errors greatly because what she looks for in a man, she puts that on the responsibility of her son. She wants her son to be sensitive. She wants her son to be a thug. So she dresses him like a thug. Or she would punk him because of the fact that she dislikes the father. She can't beat the father. So she takes her aggression out on her son's which either causes her sons to be emasculated or she pushes her son out into the street, which he end up in drug dealing, the gang life, and more than likely in prison or dead. So black women are aiding in the emasculation of black men in America by raising boys as a single parent mom. She's raising him to be so sensitive that he have no idea what it takes to be a man. She tries to school and train him on how he should treat a woman, but she don't train him how to be a man because she does not know what it takes to be a man. Most black females in America have a have a have a warped sense of what she feels manhood is. Especially if she herself grew up without her father. We hear of situations where so many black females have grown up without their father. They never had a chance to know their father. And their moms, because her mom carries so much bitterness within herself, she now instructs her daughter what she should not take off a man. Corrupting her daughter's heart and mind. To be bitter towards men even before she had a chance to even get to know a man. So she comes into a relationship bitter or with a bunch of rules 
that she got from her mother because her mother opened herself to be harmed and hurt by a man that was raised by a single parent mom and that never had a chance to know his dad because of, for whatever reason, the man was chased out of the home. And in many cases, it's because of the fact that that female competed with that man's manhood. She always felt that she was stronger than he was. She always felt that she was more educated than he was. She always felt that she knew more than he did. While she's listening to her friends in the street tell her about how she should handle her man at home instead of standing up to be a woman on her own two feet. Now, I want to read a scripture that's taken from 1 Peter 3 and 7. And it says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Now, there's many black females that despise being weaker than men. They want all of these rights. And that's how they're destroying men. That's how they are emasculating men because now we're living in a time where if a man wants to kiss his girlfriend or in some cases even his wife, he have to ask. He have to ask if he's able to touch his wife or his girlfriend. Because he does not want to be brought up on sexual assault charges. So you have a lot of young boys that's growing up not really knowing how to treat a woman. Not really knowing how to act around women because they're confused. Because if they act like a man or what they perceive a man should be, he would be considered toxic. Toxic masculinity, femin the feminist movement created so many rules through the legal system that men look at themselves in many cases as toxic. So to keep from being toxic or being um, labeled as being toxic, they emasculate themselves. They act like women. They think like women. The only role model they had growing up was their mother because they was raised by a bitter, angry black woman. A single parent mom. That was angry, that was bitter, that hate and despise men. That get on YouTube and talk about how they want to abort their male child. So they take all of that hostile aggression out on their sons. And in many cases, their sons grow up despising their mothers. Taking their frustrations out on their girlfriends because of how their moms treated them. You see how that vicious cycle repeats itself? That mother allowed herself to be abused by a man because of the man she chose to be with. She wanted a thug. She wanted a gangbanger, a drug dealer. She didn't want an honest, hardworking man. So that criminal, that gangbanger, drug dealer, he abused her. Ended up leaving her for another woman. Now she's bitter. She takes it out on her son. Her son grows up to be a young man and takes it out on his girlfriend. His girlfriend then becomes bitter. And think that no man is good. She either becomes a lesbian or she grows up to be bitter like that young man's mother. It's a whole vicious cycle. So you have women that don't want to be looked at as the weaker vessel. They want to be strong like men. And that's why we see today so many black females 
So many women are in the are in the gym, not just working out to keep in shape, but they're being bodybuilders. They want muscles. They want these they want these sports that's aggressive where they can stomp out men. You see how that works. And then when they realize that they can't handle a man, then they resort back to their femininity. They become Karens, victims. Don't ever let a man do this to you. And you can tell when a woman really don't like a man because she put emphasis on man. Ain't no man. And you don't think your sons hear that? So a lot of these young men grow up confused. They don't know what manhood is because there's so many laws now that's against them because so many feminists marched and fought for certain laws to be changed. And those laws affect your sons and your daughters. Because now your daughters really don't know what kind of man to choose to be with. Because they grew up without their fathers. So the scripture said, likewise, ye husbands, Dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. So you females out there that claim that you're righteous and you're holy and that you're in Christ, and you can't submit yourself to your own husband's, Well, that's out of line. And you think you can just pray your way out of a situation and you have not submitted yourself to your own husband? That's if you're married. But in most cases, these young boys are growing up in a single parent home with a bitter black mother that despises the son because of the father. So these young boys grow up without knowing what manhood is about. Fortunately, I grew up as a baby boomer. I grew up in the 60s, in 1960 to be exact. So I grew up with my father. I grew up when when men were men. See, we didn't have all of these strict rules that we had to, you know, ask, you know, right in the midst of, you know, making love or having sex, you got to ask, stop and ask questions. You know, is it okay if I touch you? Is it okay if I kiss you? Is it okay if I do this? Is it okay if I do that? You have to get permission. It's too many rules. So now you have guys that say, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with that. You know, I'd rather be without any woman at all or they date outside their race. So if she want to aid in, if she want to stop aiding in the emasculation of black men in America, she can start by not competing with the men for her man, for his manhood. She's not content with being a woman. She wants to compete with or for his manhood and then raise her sons to be young men instead of sensitive boys. So raise your sons to be young men instead of sensitive boys. That's how you stop aiding in emasculation of black men in America. Teach them responsibilities. Let them go out there and cut the grass. Let them do things that boys are supposed to do. Don't take away their dump trucks and give them dolls to play with so that they can learn how to be sensitive. See, all of that plays into the man's psyche or the young male's psyche. He grew up playing with dolls and wearing pink. So I grew up in an era where men were men. So a real man is not going to allow the weaker vessel to emasculate him because he's too much of a man to be emasculated he's an alpha 
And men really shouldn't have to say that they are alpha males. I didn't grow up hearing that. I didn't grow up hearing nothing about being an alpha male. I am who I am. I am who God created me to be. And I refuse to be less than what God created me to be. And there's no woman nowhere on this planet Earth that has enough power to emasculate me or to break me down so that I become so sensitive, I lose touch with manhood. That's not going to happen. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.